Um, unfortunately, I've, I'm going to go the other way on this. I really see them doing it. I see them putting the belts on Miz and Shane. Um, and I don't want it to. I want to be wrong on this one, by the way. I really want to be wrong. But um, <laughs> my um, my WWE sense sensors at the moment, like a spider sensor, is telling me it's going off miles here. Um, overload that this is, uh, you know, there's like a danger um, sign around me. Alarm bells are ringing that uh, WWE are going to have this happen. And um, probably... I just got a feeling they're going to bring this into WrestleMania. So um, that's my gut feeling, and uh, that is my prediction. In terms of the match, you know, I do feel for Cesaro and Sheamus because, you know, you think back to WrestleMania, Matt, they had that whole comedy thing with Braun and, of course, Nicholas and all the rest of it. And, you know, to be fair to those guys, Matt, Sheamus and Cesaro, both incredible workers, but, um, you know... I mean, I remember when we were talking about Cesaro could be a, a big-time player. That's long gone, in my opinion, now. And even Sheamus, I, you know, I just feel like WWE, they're never going to they're never gonna push with him ever again, really, um, unless they, they got really stuck. And even then, there is a handful of other guys at the moment. So I just feel like they are, they're going to be the ones that suffer with this because once they're doing nothing else... Um, you know they're going to probably be doing a just basic tag team matches that don't really mean anything um, because you just don't see it happening. But um, yeah, it's a little bit of a shame. I do think both those guys, considering, um, I mean, we remember reviewing it very well, Matt, when they had that best of seven between each other, and it went on and on and on and on. And in the end, this tag team thing, it seemed like the best solution at the time to stop that from ever happening again. But um, at this point, I've <laughs> my fears are is that Miz and Shane will win and then perhaps Cesaro and Shane must do another best of seven or something. Um, let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's hope I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, I'm unfortunately, I'm predicting the Miz and Shane win the belts this uh, that night. So, uh, But hopefully I'm wrong uh, on that. But uh, we'll see what kind of a match it, it gets. Um, I'm sure it'll be a world-class performance from Shane O'Mac. Um Okay, how about this one then, Matt? This is the other um, winner of last year's Royal Rumble. And, um, you know, she's champion at the moment. So at least, unlike Nakamura, she's sort of in the the limelight here somewhat. Um, kind of come out of nowhere, I guess. But I think it was WWE doing their best not to uh, sort of take any momentum off of Becky or Charlotte. So, um, But here we have Oscar, Matt, up against Becky Lynch in a match that I kind of didn't see coming because I think a lot of people thought, Matt, Becky Lynch, she's going to be in the Royal Rumble and then this got booked. What do you think to this match, Matt? Because on paper, this looks like I'm, I'm kind of somewhat excited about this um, in a way. I do think these two could have a, a really good match and everything with Becky at the moment, the momentum that she's got... It's kind of like I want that for someone like Seth. If he's going to win this, I kind of want this kind of momentum with him. But I feel like Becky, it's like, you know, it's like the, the old saying, Matt, this the right time at the right place. All the stars are aligning here. It seems like everything is going her way. The waves are going the right direction for her. What do you think about this match, though, Matt? And um, uh, as far as what we're going to get here, how good of a match could this be? Or am I uh, sort of hoping for too much oh, I feel like it should be an excellent match no doubt both mm-hmm. of these girls you know, they know what they're doing in that ring mm-hmm. and they know how to work the crowd so I feel like it will be a great match uh, I feel like probably Becky is in this match that, so that she doesn't have to be anywhere near the Royal Rumble mm-hmm. because for me it just makes Charlotte's chances all that more greater of winning it mm-hmm. and when, if Charlotte is to win the Royal Rumble the fans won't be so rejecting of it you know right Mm-hmm. So it's probably a good thing she's not involved. Uh, but this match, you know, I, I feel like Oscar's a bit of a placeholder. I feel like they did this maybe uh, just to get Becky out of the way. So maybe mm-hmm. Becky does win the title back at this night. I feel like that like, could be her night. Yeah, it's a tough call for me, this one. You know, thinking about every which way. Did I go triple threat at WrestleMania? Did I not? 
Um, you know, did I have the, the winner of the women's crossover? Because that could happen. Um, so you're always trying to think ahead of things. And, and is Oscar just a transitional champion, um, like Matt said? So, but, um, you know, I, I'm going to, I think, like, well, if philosophy serves me right for WWE, and you think back to anybody that's ever got over properly, Vince McMahon's mentality always used to be the chase was better than the catch. And I, I'm, for that reason, going to say that uh, I think Oscar's going to win this by hook or crook. I, I think something will happen. I don't think it will be overly clean. But um, I think they'll protect Becky to a certain extent. But I do think Oscar will keep the belt. It might be a DQ. It might be something like that. But um, I, I've got a feeling they're going to have a chase. Because, um, like I said before, stupidly, a couple of years ago, I don't know if it was last year, actually, or the year before that, where, I think it was last year, wasn't it, Matt, where Charlotte had already lost that pay-per-view thing. And I was like, why did they do that before WrestleMania? And I think, was it the year before that, Matt, that Bailey had already won the belt before WrestleMania, like a month before or something? And I was like, that come out of nowhere. Like, why didn't they wait till the big WrestleMania stage? So I think there's a lesson learned there, hopefully. Um, I would prefer um, Becky to, you know, get it on the big stage. And, and like I say, just keep the chase going. Because I do feel like if she captures it now, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I think there's more, there's more time for her. I don't think there's too much of a rush here. This is something that's come out of nowhere. And it's probably never been WWE's plan, but like best things ever always come unplanned. So um, I hope that um, I hope that is the case in a way. I do think that will be better. So I'm, I'm going to go for Oscar in this, but I do think I'm hoping for good things in this match, and I hope that Oscar um, comes out of this well, as you know, because she could roll into WrestleMania now with that belt. So um, yeah, for me, Oscar. Um, Keep retains the belt here at least. I don't know. It might be a DQ. I've got a feeling it's going to be a bit of a, a small's ending. Let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, that's that's where I stand with that one. Um, next up, Matt, we've got the um, the WWE Championship from SmackDown. Daniel Bryan, Matt, um, a Royal Rumble fan favorite in general. Matt, to this pay per view, isn't he? Uh, not so much when he's not involved. So um, we hope that won't happen. But um, AJ Styles up against him here. Matt, another uh, return match, I guess. Um, had a couple of these now. Um, again, it, you know, it's great on paper. I do like the look of this. But um, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the Royal Rumble men's match is a little bit light sometimes on, on big names. And uh, maybe one of these, maybe AJ more than Daniel Bryan would have been suitable for that but nonetheless we've, we've got a return match here Matt what do you make to this and the feud they've had and going into this is this a, an exciting thing for you because on paper it looks fantastic of course but um, you know where, where do you see them going with this uh, I think it just ups the quality of the pay-per-view mm-hmm. I mean I, I would like to see AJ in the Royal Rumble but the Royal Rumble kind of the match itself sells itself mm-hmm. uh, but having Daniel Bryan versus AJ is another great match to look forward to mm-hmm. after Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't. I feel like there's something missing because to me, I don't really feel like I mind who wins. I'm not right. really rooting for one guy or the other one because mm-hmm. I feel like Daniel Bryan's doing a good job, uh, job as a heel. You know, he's just got that going. But at the same time, AJ is a great champ as well. You know, and mm-hmm. uh, he's got this whole new. It's like the reinvention of ruthless aggression, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So the yeah. whole thing we saw with John Cena mm-hmm. many years ago, and it's come back again. And now. You know, a couple of weeks before this, I was totally AJ Styles. Um, however, I I don't know. I think that um, I was very shocked when Daniel Bryan got the belt. I've got to be honest with you. Um, I was even more shocked when they turned him heel. And uh, I just feel like, you know, maybe 
they're going to just go all in with this now and, and literally take him to WrestleMania. Like, I feel like they might as well. Um, I think AJ Styles, you know, could have an amazing match. Like, we know he's been there as champion now. We, he's also won at WrestleMania as the champion against Nakamura. So I feel like that's ticked off his box a little bit. It's not headlining WrestleMania, don't get me wrong. I think that's going to be his ultimate go-to. But let's face it, mate, you don't sometimes need a title to do that these days. So I would just like to see AJ Styles in in an amazing match at WrestleMania, to be honest with you. Um, If it's not going to be for the title, let's get him a a really good opponent again um, and and have another five-star match. But, um, yeah, so I, I kind of have... You know, changed my mind a few times. I'm going to go with uh, with Matt as well. I'm going to go Daniel Bryan retaining the belt. Um, I think they'll keep. They'll probably do their best to keep um, AJ Styles. You know, uh, protected. But I, I do see. Um, yeah, I do see AJ uh, just coming up a little bit short, and Daniel Bryan retaining here. Um, going on with that, but I think it's going to be a good match. I hopefully it will be the best one they've had so far as well. Like it's it's always good to try and end. The sort of the, you know the third one in the best possible shape it can, so that'll be interesting there, Matt. Um, okay, let's move on then, Matt. Um, uh, to the boss, she's back in business, Matt. She's uh, she's <laughs> it's like going back two years ago. She's suddenly at the top again. Uh, Sasha Banks is now um, challenger for uh, Ronda Rousey's WWE Women's Title on Raw. Um, and yeah, again on paper, this looks absolutely fantastic. The only thing I wish to for anything they WWE had done, like most things, is um, just giving Sasha a few big wins before this actually happened. I wish they'd have thought about it a bit more. And um, you know, then when Sasha's saying all this stuff, I could kind of get behind it. But I feel like for the last couple of years, we just it's been unfortunate we haven't really seen enough of Sasha Banks uh, at the top like this and uh, I think this goes to show you Matt that you know she's definitely good enough to be doing this week in and week out um, but suddenly she's just thrown in there and I think for me and you it's probably a bit different but I think if you're a fan that's been watching for the last year you're probably thinking well she's got no chance Um, and it's unfortunate because you know she should have a chance Um, but you know the way WWE have booked her you know of the last well, two years in a way, it's uh, it's not been overly fantastic. So, um, but you know, it's a fresh match, Matt, and Ronda Rousey does need a fresh opponent, and you know, Sasha Banks makes all the sense in the world. But um, what about what about this for you, Matt? I mean, you're a big Sasha Banks fan. Um, you've got to be. Are you happy that she's there, or are you not? Would you wish there was a little bit more to it? I don't know. Uh, you know, it's a yes and a no for mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. And they're not the most amazingly talented technical wrestlers. Mm-hmm. You know? uh, I feel like Nia Jax was an awkward fit for her to mm-hmm. wrestle many times. So I feel like Sasha will bring out the best in Ronda. I feel like mm-hmm. they will have a good match. I feel like it will be one of Ronda's best matches that she's had, uh, just predicting it that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do feel like it's kind of an awkward timing for this match. I feel like people would be buying into it a lot more if we weren't all going off of this thing that that Ronda has, has never really tapped out and has never really been pinned clean mm-hmm. uh, and that she didn't have to be protected and have that carried into WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. I feel like post-WrestleMania, this would have been an even better match. Yes. It felt yes. like it was much more even and mm-hmm. a bit more 50-50 and you would feel like Sasha would have a chance of actually possibly getting a win on her if Ronda had already suffered a defeat beforehand. Uh, but saying that, I feel like uh, it's... It, it's going to be a good match. Uh, I just wish it was after WrestleMania, but you know, yeah. who's to say how long Ronda will stay around? So. Yeah, uh, lots of rumours going in and around that at the moment. Um, I mean, for me, I think I think her, for me, the last match, Ron, you know, the Ronda match with um, that she had with Charlotte, I really enjoyed that match. I thought that was another, you know, a really good performance on Ronda's part. I feel like Charlotte sort of brought that out of her a bit better. I'm hoping that Sasha will be able to do the same um, and, you know, it will help her going forward. But um, 
like Matt said, I do feel like it's uh, it's a little bit of a shame. In a way, I guess, I suppose, I kind of wish it was uh, Bailey, maybe, in this predicament at the moment. And, um, you know, we wait for that moment that Sasha turns on Bailey, and then Sasha gets a, a new momentum then to go against Ronda. It would make all the sense in the world, but um, it, it's not going to be that way. So... Um, it's a little bit unfortunate, but then again, I, I, I'm glad that Sasha Banks is being thought of back in this position again. I, I can only hope that um, she she has a good out in here and WWE thinks, hang on a minute. 